let's take one uh, one project, whatever projects we have here, okay, mm. and put this in the. I mean, you know, or uh, put some. I mean, you know, put this code into GitHub and uh, then deploy. You know. Okay. Can we do that real quick? Like we have the GitHub desktop here. Open your GitHub repository. I do not see your repository, so let's create one. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Some description and and click on create. All right. Uh, readme file has been created for you. Now that's the link. Uh, https github dot com. Copy that. Okay. Next, uh, do you uh, in your toolkit do you have a GitHub uh, plugin? We can. I mean, is is it not uh, automatic that it is in there? No. Uh, no, it's not a default feature. We need uh, to. So, uh, what is that? You you had GitHub. Do you have Tortoise SV and Tortoise Git? Do you have that tool? Uh, no. You have GitHub uh, desktop already. Go to some folder and folder some folder on, mean, your, uh, on desktop. your desktop. Okay, okay. Mm, yeah. Create a new folder. Okay. Yeah, this is the thing. Okay, I created the folder. Uh, and within that terminal itself, execute uh, git clone command. Git clone. Yeah, git space clone space. Paste that URL. So it will clone here. So can we use the same workspace that we um, already in the um, in the App Connect Enterprise or no? Yeah, we can. I'll show you. Okay. You for now, for now, just paste the URL. Enter. So using commands, you have uh, cloned uh, that repository onto your local machine. Now. Create a file with okay. Let's uh, copy and paste. What is that? The copy and CD into I IIB projects. Oh, where is it? Copy so, this uh, aggregate MQ pro uh, folder into. I'm checking like uh, how how do I know which uh, the folder name here? Go, go click on the project that you are interested in copying. Okay. And right click properties. That's your folder path. And, uh, aggregate MQ back and one. So I just need to copy this. Hmm. And print here. Correct. Yeah, we got it there. Now, right click uh, in the IIB project space mm -hmm. and look for Git options. Do you see anything that says uh, Git? Nothing. So your Git desktop is not uh, linked as a menu option or a. No, we did not. Uh, we did not. We did That's not. not, not we will use commands. Yeah. Say. 
uh, in the terminal git add dot git add dot, dot enter what does this mean we are adding the files okay uh, that we just copied into your git uh, repository it's a local repository okay yeah i see it there now type the command git status Okay. So these are the new files. Yeah. Uh, you have to add them. So to add them, type uh, git add star. Star. Yeah. Now again, do a git status. Okay. Now do a git uh, commit and minus m hyphen m n m m as in message okay. type your initial message type initial commit message or something like that in in it initial yeah in it that's enough enter and now git status git a branch is based on origin master but the stream is gone all right use git branch or upstream nothing to commit uh, all right uh, do a git push git push yeah enter now you will have to type uh, credentials for this uh, git account because you're pushing something from your local system into uh, the public repository. Nice. Now the, date, the data that you had on your local system has been pushed into the public repository. Click on uh, the public repository on your browser and refresh that page. Yep. Yes. Your files are over here in GitHub. Oh, man. Okay. So now, like, if I have a bar file here, I can uh, use Jenkins to uh, deploy. Correct. You don't need a bar file in GitHub to deploy. You can use your uh, source code that you have just pushed into uh, IIP projects. Use the source code, clone it and then uh, create a bar file using uh, Jenkins and then using that bar file deploy again. Okay. 